Apple claims that the battery backup of the Apple Watch Series 9 is 36 hours. However, in reality, the battery backup of the smartwatch depends on individual's usage pattern. Because everyone has a unique daily schedule, the way a person uses their smartwatch determines its battery backup. For example, someone who uses it minimally or only for occasional flexing to boost their personality may get more battery backup, while someone who uses it for workouts, calling, monitoring health data and other tasks may get less battery backup. In this video, I'm going to do an Apple Watch Series 9 battery charging and draining test. First, I will conduct a charging test using a 25 watt Apple adapter. Then I will use the watch as a normal person would to check its battery back. After this, I will charge it again with the same adapter and use its smart features. Once these tests are complete, I will charge the Apple Watch Series 9 using a laptop and record how long it takes to charge and resulting battery backup. I'm conducting these tests separately for laptop charging and adapter charging because during a battery test for the Galaxy Watch 6, we found that the battery backup varied when charged with the laptop versus an adapter. This led us to the conclusion that charging the watch with a laptop may not be an efficient method. Let's start by doing a charging test. Here's my original 25 watt Apple adapter and this is the original charging cable for the Apple Watch Series 9 that comes with it. You can see that the Apple Watch Series 9 is off because its battery level is at zero. Now I'm going to connect it to the charging cable to check how long it will take to go from zero to 100%. The charging has started. It takes some time to start after putting on charging. Now I'm going to take its time lapse and I also added a timer besides it to measure the accurate time of charging. It takes 26 minutes to charge to 50% of its battery. It is quite good and this is helpful on the go. If you are going somewhere in an emergency and your watch battery is drained, then put it on the charging for some time and its fast charging feature will provide you enough battery to use it throughout the day. Now I'm checking it again and 37 minutes have passed after putting it on charging and the battery level is at 67%. In my opinion, it is doing a great job in terms of battery charging. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comment section. Now, my Apple Watch Series 9 is fully charged and it took about 65 minutes to charge completely. If you charge it 1 hour daily, you can use it for the whole day. Now, I will begin using the Apple Watch. Let's see how much battery backup it will provide. I will use it as a normal person without much activity. My watch was fully charged at 12.45 pm. At 5.22 pm, the battery level was at 90%. It took approximately about 5 hours to drain 10% of the battery. Later, at 10.50 pm, I checked the wash again and its battery level was at 87%. Then I went to sleep and the next day at 9.11 am, the battery level was at 62%. After getting ready for the office, I arrived at the office at 10.06 am and at that time, the wash battery level was at 59%. After that, I used the wash to make and shoot videos and its battery level dropped to 28% by 1.45pm. Later at 9.06pm, I checked the battery level again and it was at 13%. I went to the bed and when I woke up in the morning, the battery level had reached zero. The wash shut down around 6am due to low battery. If we calculate the time, the battery provided approximately 37 hours of backup after a full charge, which is quite impressive for an Apple Watch. This time, I'm using my watch for my workout and with all the smart features enabled, and I will calculate how much battery backup it will give. I charge the Apple Watch Series 9 with the same adapter again. My watch 9 is fully charged and I started using it in the morning when I started running. At 7.26 am, my battery level is at 99%. Just turning on the watch consumed 1% of the battery. After this, I started running and I ran for about 35 minutes. At 8.15 am, the battery level is at 91%. It tracks my outdoor running with GPS. It takes around 8% of the battery to record a 35-minute outdoor running workout. After that, I reached my office and I noted that the battery level was at 85% at 10.13 am. Later at 12.03 pm, I rechecked the battery level and it was at 77%. Then I continued with my office work without using the watch much and at 3.48 pm the battery level was at 
while returning home from the office at 6.37 pm, I observed that the battery level was at 62%. At 11.50 pm, I rechecked the battery level and it was at 36%. The next morning at 8.20 am, the battery level was at 20%. Then at 10.20 am, when I reached the office, the battery level dropped to 13%. Around 2.23 pm, the watch battery level dropped to 1% and after some time, it shut down. During this period, whenever I received calls on my iPhone, the watch also rang with my iPhone. After turning on all the smart features and recording workouts, we obtained approximately a 31-hour battery backup with the Series 9 watch. Comparing this with the previous model, it appears to be significantly better. Now it's time to use the laptop for charging the Apple Watch Series 9. It's 1042 and my Apple Watch Series 9 has switched off. I'm placing it on its charger which is connected to my laptop. It usually takes some time for the watch to turn on and when it does, its battery is typically around 2 or 3 percent. It's now 10.52 and it's been 10 minutes since the watch has started charging. Surprisingly, its battery level is only at 6 percent. I believe that the initial increase in battery level is quite gradual. It's 11.9 and the battery level has reached 45 percent. It is amazing to see that it charged 45% in just 27 minutes. I will check it again in another 20 minutes. Now it's 11.29 and the watch's battery level is at 84%. The watch's battery is performing exceptionally well even when charging from the laptop. Finally, the watch is fully charged and it's 11.46. It took around 1 hour and 4 minutes for the Apple Watch Series 9 to charge from the laptop. After charging the Watch 9 fully, I used it normally and found that it provided the same battery backup as when charged with the adapter. In my opinion, there is no difference in charging it with a laptop or adapter. Now, it is time to conclude the test results. I conducted two charging tests. One using a 25W charging adapter which took a total time of 1 hour and 5 minutes. And the second charging test was done using a laptop, completing the charge in 1 hour 4 minutes. The reason for conducting battery charging tests using both a laptop and a 25W adapter is that we observed that in the Galaxy Watch 6, there was a significant difference in charging time and battery efficiency between charging methods. However, with the Apple Watch Series 9, we did not observe any such changes. The charging time is almost the same and we also got similar battery backup. This concludes our video on battery charging and draining tests. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Also remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive timely updates. Thanks for watching this video.